Ni hao, wo jiao, Sasha. So I'm learning a little bit Chinese. So we gotta start with the, the intro. Unfortunately, I was wrong about 100 bucks on Solana. As you've seen, we are right now at 122 dollars. And you know, when I'm wrong, I can just say, you know, I was wrong, it happens, you know. We, we know where the resistance levels are, but you know, we are not always, you know, 100% sure that it's gonna stop there. So we always try to figure out whether there is some kind of overextension, some kind of, you know, pattern, something that tells us that that resistance is gonna hold. And as you can see up here, uh, when on the last video we talked about, you know, 100 level being the top, I thought it might be done because there was also this, uh, let me just uh, move this a little bit down. There was also this very nice channel going towards upside. We hit the, the top of the channel, we hit the 100 bucks. There was all kind of, you know, overextension stuff like that. Uh, you know, unfortunately for my video, we did not actually uh, stop there. We actually went to the next level of resistance that was 122 now two days ago in this series of solana videos uh, we actually talked about all of these three levels there are actually three major levels on solana that we have been watching the first one was 100 bucks and this way you were watching when uh, solana was at uh, 72 dollars and we said like it is very very probable that it's gonna hit hundred dollars because there is nothing until, uh, all the way up to hundred dollars right it hit hundred dollars on the dollar, you can see up here, it hit it on the, the dollar, 99.43, then it pulled back a little bit, did the zigzag consolidation up here at the resistance level, and then broke that all the way up $122, and right now you can, it, it came close to 180 pulled back, you know, consolidated, and then went all the way up 122 and right now it's pulling back. Uh, and you can see this 122.79, 77, give or take, that was also the second resistance level that we have been watching. Now, which one of these resistance levels are gonna get hit or not, which one is gonna hold or not, which one is gonna get broken or not we do not actually know that what we do know is where the levels are and once the price comes there we look for over extensions we look for uh, you know signs of weakness we look for patterns that can tell us that maybe just maybe this is gonna you know break down maybe it's over maybe it's not over i wasn't you know 100 convinced it was over 100 bucks but you know it could have been over 100 bucks now we did pop to 122 bucks now the big question is is it over right now it could very well be because if we break 122 bucks the next major level of resistance because there are a lot of levels of resistance and stuff like that there are a lot of channels you know patterns and stuff like that uh, uh, you know there, there, there are resistances all over the place but this is the monthly time frame and you'll see up here at 100, 208 bucks that's the previous stop up here that's a major level of resistance so we had these three levels of resistance and right now we are hitting the second one right so we broke the 100 bucks we are right now at 122 bucks the big question is is it over now <laughs> So I don't want to start with the you know title of the video being yes it is over now for the second time uh, it might or might not be over and what we're gonna look at is this four hourly time frame and try to figure out whether this is gonna stop right now or not. So let's uh, again go back to the monthly time frame over here on Solana and we'll see up here the first level of level resistance was this 99.5 the second one I was up here at 102 that we actually came up to that and right now we have this third level of resistance at 208 these are monthly levels of resistance major level of resistance and the big question is are we gonna break these are we gonna go all the way up to 100 uh, 208 bucks now once we come to a certain level of resistance over here we try to figure out whether there is any kind of pattern anything that tells us that you know we are overbought you know signs of weakness so forth so forth what are we gonna get you know break that and go all the way to the next level of resistance and right now there are actually signs of weakness i mean the signs of weakness already started playing out uh, at 100 bucks right now being at 122 bucks you, you know the, the, you know the signs are getting uh, getting pretty uh, pretty obvious let's go to the monthly time frame and pop some moving averages up here on the chart what you're gonna see here that this is the 10 and 20 moving average all the way down there what you're gonna also see here that rsi right now the monthly time frames are around 70 levels once we are in the bull market top up here i don't know if there is actually a bigger uh, chart of solana with more historical data but right now we can actually see that you know we got some kind of 70 levels on the monthly time frame which is very high on the daily time frame you know 70 levels are not high on the on the four hourly 70 level levels is nothing but when you're on monthly time frame you got a 70 levels on the error side this rubber band indicator down here that kind of tells us that a little bit that you know maybe just maybe we are getting into this over uh, oversold sorry overbought uh, extensions up 
there. Also, you'll see down here on my own indicator that we are very, uh, you know, uh, overextended towards upside. So you'll see up here on this move over here, uh, this this just shows overextensions, which is actually a very nice in the indication of some kind of very uh, toppy move. So you can see up here this uh, toppy move up here towards upside. Up here came up uh, all the way to something like 70% uh, overextensions, and right now we are coming to the same levels up here. This one again on the monthly time frame, so it could take a while to uh, play out. So this stop up here is not gonna go just right down. It could do that, but it's not gonna go just right down. And over here on the on, on the weekly time frame, we see this big move up here towards the, the level of resistance. We are creating this doji up here. We still got five days on the weekly time frame up here, but there is nothing right now that you know it is very very uh, no, no no on the chart. Now indications right now on the uh, indicators down here, we don't have any kind of divergence on the RSI. We only got high levels on the RSI right now. The high level on RSI is 87 which is not actually that i mean it's on the weekly time frame it is very high level 87 is very high level on the rsi it shows you some kind of overextensions but nothing that you know it should be a, uh, taken as a, some kind of big worry now i did see before charts that are having these you know 90 levels for a prolonged period of time and price just keeps on pumping, right? It, it can definitely happen. So just because you are on the night levels on their side does not mean that you're a, you need to go down and pull back. Especially bull markets, people often uh, underestimate the strength of the chart because they're still suffering through the post-traumatic stress syndrome, PTSD and uh, of the bear market right uh in the bear market every pump was getting wrecked right back down again so people still believe that you know for whatever reason it's gonna just get wrecked down again uh but you know good for us it does not get wrecked it just keeps on pumping right so you can see also here the momentum is still going towards downside although it is kind of expanding up here towards the top so we're at 90 levels we are expanding towards the top we are hitting the 122 level which is actually a very major level over here right now we are creating this doji up here it's still five days left so you know it's just gonna you know uh, zigzag up here at the top before it actually goes down next week we do not know actually how that's gonna uh, play out but uh, it, it is kind of high it is kind of high now on the small time frames let's go to the daily time frame over here you'll see that we have a little bit pullback up here we came up to something like you know uh, what's that on, on the daily time frame 85 levels and these 85 levels on the other side are pretty high actually uh, so this is but every time you hit these levels does not mean you're gonna you have to pull back uh, or or dump down you had a consolidation up here after this one oh, this one on 85 level you had a consolidation up here at 87 also you had a consolidation over here and right now we are again at 85 low are we just gonna get a consolidation up here that's a big question uh, but uh, you know nothing is set in stone just yet just yet so we got a little bit more time to actually say that okay right now it's over now there, there is a, a a saying that you know you know it's not over until it breaks the trend so you can have some kind of move that goes something like this up here and as long as it's actually in the trend everything is good and dandy unfortunately it's only over when it actually breaks the trend now by the time it actually breaks the trend you know this could be actually 20 percent down or something like that so it's kind of too late so you know we want to try to figure out when it's over here at these stops because by the time it actually breaks down it does this move up here and does this and it continues towards down so you already done like 50 percent be before you can actually get out so you know the, the good thing is you know trying to we try to find out uh, on the top of the channels on the top of the moves when is the top actually in and uh, you'll see also on my indicator down here that uh, we are having some overextensions on the daily time frame as well. Now, again, the overextensions does not mean it's going to dump. It means that, you know, consolidation is coming very, very soon. So up here, you know, we had these big moves towards upside up here uh, or tops and then we consolidate. Right now we are at these stops, right? So we are looking for consolidation. So only thing that I'm looking at right now is consolidation. And uh, it's not over just yet. But again, like we said, by the time it actually gets over, it's pretty much, you know, it's too late because, you know, the over on this chart would be when it breaks the trend and the trend goes something like this over here all the way down here. So, you know. Are we gonna wait until it actually is over down here because then by that point you're down something like you know 20 30 percent from over here to down here is like 30 percent but from uh from uh, the very top up here all the way down you are down like 40 percent from the very top so waiting until it's actually over or confirmation that it's over meaning that you know the trend actually broke it, you know you don't want to be that guy you don't want to be that guy you don't want, we don't want to wait for confirmation at all we want to figure out where the top is before the confirmation kicks in when it makes euphoria is 
when you're hitting major level of resistance, overextensions. We try to figure it out by some some pattern, something that you know it just might be over. Now this over here, what? And right now we are on the daily time frame, so we're gonna look at uh, two two channels. Now again, we got two levels of uh, major resistance. That's 99 bucks and 122, like we said. These are two major, and there is this channel over here that's uh, been uh, playing out very nicely. You can see this channel actually we broke towards upside up here when it came to 100 bucks. We broke that went all the way to, towards 100. So I would say that, uh, you know, it's already right now that the fact that we are hitting the second major level of resistance that we are having a little bit, you know, zigzag pattern over here or, or some kind of pull, pullback towards downside. So I wouldn't say, wouldn't say that, you know, it's over by the time we get back below the channel. I would say that it might be over once we get back inside the channel. So over here already uh, below 100 bucks it might be over and when we are saying over we are not saying over you know forever over it just over for this move because the 2025 is not here yet we are still waiting for the big mega super mainstream pump in 2025 so you know by that time but you know there will be some kind of consolations we so, so whether this consolation is going to come here where it's going to uh, pump you know uh, 208 and then consolidate over here uh, we try to figure that out so it's not over just yet but we are at very very high levels and this move up here broke towards upside out of this moving channel towards upside which is actually super stupidly bullish so we do not want to get back in the channel, okay? This is the bad move. This is the bad move. We do not want to get back inside the channel. We want to maybe retest the channel, maybe zigzag over here, maybe do the, you know, do move up here. But we do not, under any circumstance, want to get back inside the channel. And what you're going to see here that the move towards downside up here is coming kind of, uh, it's becoming kind of a little bit, you know, too predictable too predictable or uh how are you gonna say it it's becoming uh, very obvious right so if you see this uh there is an expanding musical instrument up here let me just remove a little bit line so you can see this nicer so there is channel there are two major levels of resistance and then there is this expanding musical instrument now i'm calling it expanding musical instrument but it's basically uh ascending expanding uh wedge right so you gotta this uh, expanding wedge towards upside uh that's going towards upside it's gonna go slowly 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 it can do start doing this move up here as well go towards upside but oftentimes these uh, these these hits on the top side they actually hit the top side and then do something like this and then continue to, uh, to break out of the expanding musical instrument because breaking the channel towards upside is a lot easier than actually breaking expanding musical instrument towards upside uh, because these dumps are bigger the pumps are uh, larger the dumps are bigger the pumps are larger you know that that's the expanding musical instrument now the sign of weakness on the expanding musical instrument when this move towards upside does not actually tap the resistance level right so we went over here uh, we started you know created this top up here we create the secondary top up here you know we create this very nice expanding uh, musical instrument over here went down here and did not actually uh, tap the top if we had tapped the top i would say this is not over yet but the fact that you know we are already showing the signs of weakness so this this move should have gotten all the way up to 133 bucks it failed to do that right now pulling back to the uh, support level right so the very first move that's I would say it's sign of weakness is getting out of this expanding musical instrument over here right now. Uh, as you can see right now, it's still holding the expanding musical instrument. It can still go back up here. It can still blow again towards upside, you know, 140, 150 bucks. It is expanding musical instrument, but it looks more than likely right now that it's going to get, uh, you know, drop out of the expanding musical instrument and maybe retest this 100 bucks on, uh, on the downside over here, right? I do not expect it on the first move to just get back inside over here in the channel, but I do expect maybe to, uh, you know, retest these levels up here and then maybe try to go uh, again towards upside so you can see something like this up here where we fall out go towards downside and try to you know again break towards upside and a zigzag over here and you can zigzag over here for a very long time on the daily time frame right as long as we don't back, get back in the channel you know it's all good and dandy but you know these dumps can be actually pretty severe because this move down here is like 20 percent move towards downside if we pump again towards upside up here 130 bucks again something that's again a you know a 20 percent move to uh, you know dump towards downside and these 20 percent dumps get, get a lot of people people out of the market because people and you know they are weekends they are paper holding the 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 coins they are traders and stuff like that and uh it, it could be very 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 nasty if it actually does but right now it is actually looking very very nice because we are uh, had this you know 
a climbing channel. The climbing channel broke towards the upside over here. It exploded right now. It's having expanding musical instrument over here. So any any move to outside of or outside of this, I would assume, and this is our very first sign of weakness. And after that, getting back inside the channel is hugely 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 hard but i can definitely see again a move again back to the 120 bucks before it actually consolidates but this is four hourly time frame so uh, so it is maybe a little bit too early to call it over if you go here to the daily time frame over here you'll see that uh, we don't have actually any kind of you know you know channel or move so what we are looking for is this move down that will create this very nice channel up here and then we'll see whether we go you know whether we tap that channel towards the upside but right, right now this move over here is just creating this you know zigzag pattern over here or whatever that might be right could be something like this over here zigzag pattern it could be you know some kind of uh, uh, pivot point down here that's gonna give us a channel over here towards the upside I mean there is a lot of ways this can actually play out but this 122 level is major level of resistance I'm not gonna say it's done like I did in the last video because I do not want to get burned but it gets kind of you know kind of a little bit sketchy right now I still see you know 208 uh, whether it's gonna come out or not I don't know but uh, very first move right now that I'm looking at and waiting to play out is this rising wedge over here where is this? This rising wedge over here. So you should probably do that too. I think it goes something like this. It looks like it's already getting out of that uh, right now. But I think this uh, expanding musical instrument towards upside, I'm looking at that and I'm looking at as soon as it actually breaks uh, out of this, maybe they, uh, there comes a retest up here. And you know, the retest, a retest, if retest fails and goes back down, that's actually another sign of weakness. If it manages to get back inside this expanding musical instrument, that's actually very good. Then you're looking for the breakout up here and to you know continuation towards upside but any kind of rejection right now should be considered a sign of weakness because we are a little bit overextend a little bit high uh, RSI make the exploding towards upside momentum hitting major level of resistance uh, and right now we are going very very steeply uh, inside this expanding musical instrument so it does look very probable right now to fall towards up, up, uh, downside subscribe to the channel if you want to see another update on Solana when, it, when, I, when I eventually get time that said Ni hao, wo jian, wo jin, wo, wo, wo jian, wo jian Sasha. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Learning Chinese, it's gonna take a while. I'll see you around guys, bye bye. Where's the outro?